Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Corey LaJoy's Keen Parts face mask car for 2020. As always, take a look at the box. As you can choose to have a generic Corey LaJoy box. Got Corey LaJoy number 32, Go Fast Racing, NASCAR Cup Series. Down the side, you have Corey LaJoy. You got 2020 Keen Parts. Got to render the car right there. Standard finish. Made a total of 504 of these things. Go Fast Racing, standard finish, number 32. Corey LaJoy, number 32, Go Fast on the back of the box. 2020 X and Racing Collectibles. And you, of course, have your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. Here is the car itself. This is definitely the essential 2020 diecast to have in your collection. No car better represents 2020 than this car right here. <laughs> if for some reason you don't remember, in 2019, in the Daytona 500, Corey LaJoy ran an Old Spice-sponsored face car. It was for Old Spice hair products, so they ran a car that was Corey LaJoy's face, and then the rest of the car is his hair. Clever enough, very popular car, and Lionel was not able to offer it. Apparently, Old Spice wouldn't give their licensing for some reason. But then, luckily this year, somebody had the idea to run the same car with Keen Parts, but put a face mask on it. And since it's Keen Parts, it could actually get produced this year. So I'm definitely glad we got a diecast of this in some form. Would have been even better if we still could have got the original diecast and he would have had the set of these two cars together. But again, if you want a car that represents 2020, there is nothing better for you to buy than this one right here. Same face car, but he has a face mask on with the Keen Parts logo on it. Fantastic. <laughs> Let's do a quick 360 of the car. Corey raced this at the spring Martinsville race. Well, it was more turned into the summer Martinsville race. They were both in the summer, but... Definitely a very, very cool car. Or why would I say they're both in the summer? The second race was still in the fall. What am I saying? <laughs> he actually did lead some laps in this car. There was one point where he stayed out under caution to, I'm pretty sure, trap Denny Hamlin a lap down. Because this is back when they were fighting each other. So we actually did get to see this car lead some laps and run around. It was running in the top like 15, 20 for a good chunk of the day. Definitely a shame to see Go Fast Racing close down. I mean, I think they're still going to run a part-time schedule this year. Very well, maybe the car that Austin Sindrick runs for Penske. At least that's what I'm going to expect. But definitely a shame to see Go Fast not be full time anymore. They've been around in the sport for a while now. But, anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Keen Parts. You've got Ford Mustang number 32 and Go Fast Racing. Down the side, you have CorvetteParts.net. Got Black Cat. In front of the rear wheel, you got Zep, HMB Motorsports. Logistics, got ASP, Little Joe's. Can't read a couple of those logos. Got like a JU logo, and I'm not sure. <laughs> it's the one t funny thing about small team diecast is you get a bunch of these company logos that you have never heard of, probably will never hear of, but definitely cool to get them, you know, engraved in a diecast for all time. Go Fast has already been using the Catenci area for their own sponsorship, as I stutter those words for some reason. So you got some of their more primary sponsorships. You got Shuttler System. You got Vizen RV and US Chrome. US Chrome's been on this 32 car for a long time. On the seat post, you have Southern Pride, and I'm not sure what that little black flag logo is. And on the B post, you have Shuttler Systems, Corvette Parts, Alpha, Pollock Casino, Diamond Creek, and a Ford logo. Got Corey LaJoy's name up there. On the back, you have CorvetteParts.net. You got those two little sock things, number 32 in the Ford Michigan license plate. You got a little chip right there in the taillight. That's real nice. Got 4VR RIP on the deck lid. I'm sure that's for some veterans or something. Got CorvetteParts.net on the roof. This is number 73, pretty low number there. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. It wants to open. So you just have a Powered by Ford logo under there. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Obviously no deck lid. The roof flap's still, of course, to open. And there's the underside of the car if you want to see that. Also want to point out, I do love how the numbers look. They're kind of like gradient. It's darker near the top of the number, lighter near the bottom. Pretty cool looking numbers. Like I said, this, def this car is definitely not going to be for everyone, but this is a perfect novelty car. And like I said, if you want a car that represents 2020... There is literally nothing else you can get but this, because this is just funny as hell. I love when sponsors and teams had fun with the things this year. It's not going away anytime soon, so you might as well have fun with it, and this is definitely a way to do that. 
Can't wait to see what Corey LaJoy can do for Spire, because I'm pretty sure Spire's a team that's actually trying to become a better team. I definitely have more, you know, respect for a team that's not trying to stay as some backmarker, crappy, caution-causing team. Like, they actually want to be a team that, well, they already have a win, but, you know, a team that can contend for more and more every year. Definitely will be cool to see Corey LaJoy in the number seven car coming out of Alan Quickie's old number seven shop. That is really cool. Please run a Alan Quickie throwback this year. Please. Anyways, if you want this card as a brand new release, you can get it right now. This card is going to get rare. There's no doubt in my mind. Corey the Joy's Scooby-Doo car from last year is already insanely rare now. So this car is definitely a popular one. This is going to get rare too. I don't think it's like Shuttler System 32 from earlier. It'll probably get rare, but this one will. Also his Trump car that he took his name off of. Honestly, that Trump car probably half killed this team. I'm pretty sure I've heard some things where people have said that, like, other sponsors wanted nothing to do with that once they ran the Trump car. So that might have killed this team. But whatever. But I think I've changed all there is to say. This has been a review of Corey LaJoy's Keen Parts Face Mask Car for 2020. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.